Hey folks, I'm uh, down in my basement in my black ninja suit. Uh, I wanted to just show you how I fillet perch. A lot of people think if you're going to fillet a fish, it's got to be as big as your boot. Uh, and those are great, but there's a lot of good eating in smaller fish. I mean, these guys are, in all reality, you know, that's an 8 inch perch. In all reality, that's the size of most perch. They're not all monsters. We all love to jump on YouTube and see the slob. Uh, but if you're if you're only looking for those, you're gonna be disappointed a lot of days. If you throw back all the eight inch fish, you'll end up uh, eating a lot more fish sticks from the grocery store. The longer a fish is in the lake, the more it can uh, acquire some of the contaminants that are in that lake. These fish are actually some of the healthiest and some of the yummiest fish. And if you can learn to cut them up cleanly and effectively and quickly. Uh, you can enjoy a lot more fish dinners. You can have uh, more feeling of productivity. I think that might be our first victim there uh, as you go out fishing. So what we're basically do looking to do when you fillet in a perch is to take the bones, the skin, and the head off of the fish. This one I just caught, you can see there's really nothing left to that fish that you want to eat. Uh, and I'll show you the trick for that. There's a lot of ways to fillet perch. Uh, no one is so much better than another. I almost always use two knives when I fillet perch. One for cutting the head off, one for deboning and skinning. Uh, you can buy any fillet knife you want as long as it's a four inch Rapala fillet knife. I, I really believe that is by far the best knife. The little chintzy uh, uh, sharpener they give you is actually a pretty effective tool too. And these knives work. I mean this is what I cut my deer up with. It is really effective. Uh, what I did find though is you're, you'll keep your blade sharper longer if you cut the head off with a serrated blade or any other blade. But if you can get one with a serrated blade, uh, it'll, gut, it'll cut through the bone a little better. This, this fillet knife got a little bit of uh, serrated section. So the first thing I do when I fillet my fish is I'm greedy. I want every piece of meat I possibly could. I froze my fingers to catch this little bugger so I don't want to throw any meat away. So you're going to cut on an angle uh, as far forward as you can. Down here is junk. Up here toward the head, there's still some good fillets. So I'm going to start on an angle up here. Because I got that nice uh, serrated blade, I can basically saw through. Now this is what, uh, I, don't know if, I don't know if I've seen this really done before, but this is what I do. I take the head off mostly because that gives me a point to start my blade with that I follow down. Uh, nice sharp uh, blade. I insert. It takes a little while to get a feel for it, but I'm riding right along that spine line. And as soon as I get, I just cut to here, I got past the rib cage. Now I'm going to go through and out to the tail. I got past the rib cage. I'm going to go through out to the tail. Now I'm gonna just kind of, I'm basically skinning it back over the ribs about two hits with the knife and then you can rip it open. Now I lay it flat on the table. The beauty of these knives is they're flexible so when I push down that knife is gonna be flat on flat. And I just give it a little bit of a slice and a rip and that is a clean perfect fillet. The back side is even easier because now you can watch the blade. You can see it as it's traveling exactly where it goes. Just above the spine, above the rib cage, and along that top line. I maxed it out to the hilt. I flip the fish over. Come through the skin on the top. Then I punch through just below the rib cage. Slide toward the tail. And two licks with the knife to get it started, and I rip it loose. Now there you have, and you don't, there's a little bit of meat on top of this rib cage. Don't chase after it. There's actually a little bit of a hair bone in there, and there's just not enough meat there to, to bother with. Uh, but look at that. I mean, there's nothing left on that. You could take a 9 or a 10 inch perch and cut it less cleanly and get the same amount of fillet as that kind of a, a, a method to cutting the fish. 
So now, same thing, I've got this thing opened up. A lot of people leave the skin on, I don't. I love to bread and fry these things. Uh, so I'm just pushing down real tight. I just took a clean fillet off of there. There is no meat left on that skin and there's no meat left on that uh, carcass and uh, the heads aren't that delicious. So I'm going to show you that in kind of a, a little bit of a faster motion. When I'm really at it, I can hit this, I can do a fish in about 42, 48 seconds. Uh, you kind of build up a muscle memory. Don't plan on making a speed thing out of it the first time you do it. Just learn to practice doing it well and then learn to do it fast. Uh, perfect practice makes perfect work. So I've just flopped that thing over, cleaned it out, slide the knife, clean fillet. Watch my blade on the underside, I'm following that top, I pop out through the skin, get to the end of the rib cage, punch through, go out to the tail, two licks with a knife to get it started, and then rip. There's the clean carcass. Drop that in the bucket for the coyotes. One year we caught so many the bald eagles started to soar in the area that we were uh, dropping them. There's the fillet. There's the clean fish. I'll do one more if you're interested. Uh, my name is Roger Houck. I'm uh, Roger from Roger's Rigs. I make a bunch of uh, fishing lures to catch more perch. I am sickeningly, uh, oh I see, I was getting my hat uh, Roger Rigified. I am sickeningly obsessed with catching perch. I love catching perch. I love helping people to catch fish, teaching people to catch fish. I've made some more videos on uh, how we do it up here in the northern Adirondacks. And uh, if there's any way I can help you, please uh, give me an email, let me know what I can do. If you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe. I'm going to be making more how-tos and more uh, details of why perch bite. And also there's a bunch of products on my website, rogersrigs.com. Uh, I'm not just trying to sell everything. I'm just trying to show you the stuff that we use that works. The sizes, the colors that seem to work best. Thanks for watching.